genius supplies. What's up, Spikes? <laughs> We're back this week uh, playing casual EDH. Some regular faces, maybe some guests. Uh, regular faces, maybe we don't need introduction. Guests. <laughs> Play with Kaylee this week uh, and uh, previous weeks. Uh, but today I am playing, I'm going first even, that's why I'm introducing, which is very fortunate of me. Uh, I'm playing Minsk and Boo plus one plus one counters. Pretty straightforward, uh, but there's also hamsters involved. <laughs> hamsters? I love uh, hamsters. I hate it when hamsters get involved. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Kaylee, and today I am playing Boomer Jund. Uh, this is a deck of two for ones, of card advantage, of big bodies. And overall, just playing a ton of value. Uh, and I'm Elliot. I'm going third uh, in turn order, and I'm playing my new only colorless deck. Oh. This is Kozilek the Great Distortion. Uh, I'm hoping to draw mana, to cast Kozilek, to draw more cards, and then hopefully do other colorless things. Sure. Yeah, and I'm Jim. Today I'm playing a new deck as well. This is uh, the Council of Four. This is an Azorius deck. Uh, it it it's kind of group hug, but not really. It's more like targeted hug. I'm gonna hug one person. Um, <laughs> that's actually what I'm going for, at least. But the idea is the Council of Four is really good at breaking symmetry on um, uh, positive resource stuff, like secret rendezvous, like um, you kicking the door. No, it's one of the ones that's in the second person from Baldur's oh. Gate. Tem your, right your temple is under attack. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> you kicking the toe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is, but um, anyway, yeah, break symmetry on that. I'm hoping to draw a whole bunch of cards, draw uh, make a whole bunch of uh, knights, and we're going to go from there. Okay, well, I got to start us off. Uh, I will draw for my turn. And I will start with a Spire Garden, and I will pass. I will draw. I will play a Wooded Foothills. I would like to take a damage to crack this, going to 39 and finding this Badlands. And then I will pass the turn for them. I'll draw for my turn. Ooh, that's a good one. What's it like to have a perfect mana base? <laughs> Play my wastes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. If you didn't have a perfect mana base, I would have questions. Yeah, you know. I'm going to play an island, and I'll pass. Draw for turn. Play a forest, and I'll play an arcane signets. Ooh. Go ahead. He's ramp. Get him. So I would like to cycle Forgotten Cave to draw a card. Yeah. She's drawing cards, get her. Go to untaps, draw off her turn, drawing more cards. Playing a rootbound crag, and then I will cast a three visits. Oh. She's ramping. <laughs> I am ramping. Finding this taiga off of this three visits. And then we are going to cast Faithful Saluting. Mm -hmm. Drawing two. And then discarding Smoldering Marsh and Tainted Wood. Passing the turn from there. Alrighty, I will draw for my turn. It's another good one. It's another heater. Uh, I will play Seagate Wreckage uh, and cast a pair of Swift Foot Boots. All right. Go ahead. All right. I'll draw a card. I'm going to play a Plains and cast Multi Format All Star Anvil of Bogarden. Ho, 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 ho. So I would like you from now on, collectively, to skip your discard phases. Mm -hmm. And uh, during your draw phase, you'll draw an additional card and discard a card. And uh, if that's good, I'll pass. It's a Howling Mine. Better than a Howling Mine. <laughs> it's draw one, draw two, and then I discard, correct? Yep. It's a looting mine. Howling um, loot. I like looting mine. 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 I'm going to discard oh. Thundering Raiju. Uh, okay. That's a cool card. It's weird that Thundering Pikachu evolves into that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play my Minsk and Boo. You got a, a Minsk Which is going to come boo. along with a B token. A B. 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 Yeah, shout out to Boo, by the way. Shout out <laughs> yeah. to Boo. The actual hamster, not the guy on the Discord. Yeah, true. <laughs> uh, I'm going to plus one to give this hamster three plus one plus one counters. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, yeah. You got a yeah. four four hamster. It's a four four. Uh, Based. And then I want to move to combat. Uh huh. Attack Kelly for four. What? <laughs> Good. Smart. Good. Prudent. <laughs> 30, 35. Five. You know, it's the lowest life. You just kick them all down. Uh, pass me. You just really <laughs> maintained eye contact with Elliot there. It was concerning. We, we, we understood what was happening. Untap. Mm -hmm. Draw for turn. 
and full of bow garden trigger. I will draw an additional card, and then we will discard more cards. Let's discard this Riveteer's Charm for now. Oh, let's go, cool, Levy. And then I will play Wasteland as my land for turn. Tap four, Castle of Windgrace, and we are going to grab Wooded Foothills tapped mm. and pass the turn. Very good. Uh, I will untap, I will draw, I will also do the Anvil of, of Bow Garden thing. <gasps> Nice one. It's a nice one. I'm gonna discard... I don't wanna discard any of these. I'm gonna discard this trading post. Mm. Sad. Uh, I will play an Arcane Lighthouse as my land for turn, and then play a Worn Power Stone. Cool. Uh, go ahead. Okay, I'll untap. We'll draw a card, Anvil of Garden. I'll draw another card. And I'm going to discard this Howling Mine. The actual Howling Mine. Actual factual? Yep. Very good. Uh, then I'm going to play another Planes, and I'm going to cast, oop, just two, uh, Zenith Chronicler. This is a 3-1. Whenever a player casts their first multicolored spell each turn, each other player draws a card. I don't like that. Which I know the two-for-one deck loves to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> then I'll pass the turn. Elliot, this is how we're hanging in this game. I will never cast a multicolored <laughs> spell. I can't even cast a colored spell. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's how you feel, eh? Okay, draw a card. Draw for Animal Garden. I'm suddenly less excited about all this. I told you it's not a group hug deck. I'm going to discard my in Invigorating Hot Springs. I want to draw you all a card. Oh, come on. Okay, I will... It's work already. It is. Influencing. Uh -huh. Decisions, oh, that's what they call them. Zenith, the influencer. <laughs> um, I'm going to cast a Nature's Lore. That's not a multicolored spell. I'm going to find this Stomping Ground off of my Nature's Lore. Uh, it's going to come into play tap. Uh, I will play a mountain and play a champion of lambholes. What are these singular colored spells, you coward? I am afraid. I am actually afraid of casting multicolor spells <laughs> at the record show. Um, I will plus Minsk and Boo to put three counters on champion of lambhold. So now nothing with power less than four can block? Yeah. Holy. We're just going to die to... <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> creature's Aaron controls. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Move to combat. Uh -huh. Attack Mr. Zenith Chronicler for four. Wow. Can I block? <laughs> you you can. can. Yeah, please do. Can, oh, no, you can't. I can't. You can't. I oh, no, you can't. Right. I, I don't know. I don't know my Go to 36. Do. Perfect. All is intended. Pass the turn. No block. I will untap. Mm -hmm. I will draw for turn. And then Bow Garden. Draw. I'm going to discard Varagoth, Blood Sky Sire. We will play this Mana Confluence as my land for turn. And I would like to tap five, taking a damage to Mana Confluence, to cast Titania, Protector of Argoth. Singular colored spells. Singular colored spells. Cowards. Unlucky. Absolute cowards. Titania entering the battlefield. I get to return a land from my graveyard to the battlefield. I will return this Tainted Wood. And then I will crack Wooded Foothills, taking one damage. Finding this Zeator's Proving Ground and Titania, because our land went to my graveyard from the battlefield, is going to create me a 5-3. There we go. I'm then going to go to combat and declare attacks against Jim with my Soul of Windgrace. What? Attack trigger. I'm going to get my Wooded Foothills back out of my graveyard. Sure. Me. Two? It's a 5-4. Five, five? Yeah, I'll take five. Holy moly. Sure, we don't want to attack Aaron here? He's got this thing. That lets me not want to cast cards. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's far worse. Don't worry. <laughs> Pass the turn. Wow. You're going to be dead by next but turn. But also, this, <laughs> start dealing with this Aaron. trades with Champion, and I wanted to keep my Soul and Grace. Yeah, the Champion is a problem. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. need to go. Never <laughs> trade. <laughs> I, uh, I will draw two because of the anvil. I wasn't blocking. I was thinking five. I was getting all next. Reasonable. I will discard this Oblivion Sower. It's a little sad. But Do you ever reanimate? No. I'm mm. colorless. Ah. <laughs> Uh, emergence zone as my land for turn. One, two, three, four. Urgolem's eye. <laughs> Ellie's just playing. Uh, <laughs> 12, 12 ring god deck. One, two, prismatic lens. One, two, three, tower worker. <laughs> sure. Alrighty, pass the turn. Okay, cool. okay. get him. I'll untap. 
Uh, draw a card, Anvil, draw another card. I'm going to discard Court of Grace. No water? <laughs> Not for you. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Tragedy. Uh, I would love the monarchy. I'm going to have to and cast Flump. Flump? <laughs> Almost as good as the monarch. Just about. Uh, and then that's it for me. I'll pass. Uh, untap. Oh, a bit of a mess here. Draw. Draw for Anvil. Discard. Sheltered Thicket. Play a Forest. Three mana. Rhythm of the Wild. Uh, trigger Zenith Chronicler. True. I'm not, I'm not happy with that part. True. Let's remember, remember this, you know, as the game goes on. I refuse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel better about casting. <laughs> I've already that forgotten. Cast Kadama of the West Tree. Mm -hmm. Give it a counter. Uh, Elliot has not attacked yet? What's going on over there? What do you mean? I'm just chilling. You're the one doing combat. Uh, counters on Champion Lamb Hole. Uh-huh. <laughs> So My Eldrazi aren't going to be able to block this thing yeah. soon. Oh, sorry. It also got a counter when the, um, sorry, Kadama enters the battlefield. Oh, great. That's yeah. a plus ability. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that too. Yeah. This thing has um, six loyalty. Move to combat. Uh-huh. Uh, champion of Lamhold, Elliot's face. Uh-huh. And uh, four Kaylee. So I'm taking, what, eight? Uh, you six, take seven, eight, eight, you take four. So oh. two of the little damage. I will trigger Kadama. I'm going to look for two basic lands, but it'll be tapped. Uh, I'm going to find a forest and a mountain that'll include my combats, and I will pass the turn. Sounds good. I will untap. Mm -hmm. Draw for turn. How many cards does everyone have in hand? Those Two, five, five, five three. three. Am I okay letting this thing draw one card for people? We need ways to deal with Aaron, and that will help us do that. Yeah, we have yeah, yeah, to. Yeah, we need to give Aaron more cards. That is reasonable. Just in case. To replace. That's also the problem, is giving Aaron more cards. Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> Ellie and I collectively draw two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, it's true. You're going to just... draw, wait, how many cards are you hand? Three. You're going to draw, four, like, five cards in turn. Anvil, Bow Garden, you know, it's tough. It's a little tough. Yeah, you know, it's tough. Of course, like... Ah, it's a little tough, <laughs> you know? Yeah, who wants a 12-12, you know? Just can barely block. <laughs> <laughs> Two turns from now. Uh -huh. Nothing I can do here is good. Everything here sucks, but I can cast stuff and, like, maybe make things happen. Like, nothing I can do here is good. <laughs> Everything sucks. Everything sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, second draw, Anvil, Anvil of Borgarden. Draw oh, and yeah. then discard. Sure. I'm going to discard Elvish Reclaimer because that is not doing anything in this current game state. Yeah, it's a, it's a singular colored spell, you know, so no need to cast things like that this game. <laughs> it's true, I, it's true. Zero or two only, please. <laughs> I'm tapping three and casting this Colingon's Command, but Trigger. I don't quite know what modes Trigger. and choices. I have to choose modes first. Trigger. I'm more involved. I'm more invested in the. Oh, trigger. so you haven't cast it? I am choosing. It is first currently on the stack. It. I am first choosing. You say you cast it. Now you're like, I haven't cast it yet. <laughs> trigger. Which is it, Kaylee? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I would like to cast this Colagon's command, mm -hmm. uh -huh. choosing to deal two damage to Minsk and Boo, smart. and to destroy Urgolum's eye. Ooh, trigger. Also smart. Trigger, trigger on Zenith the Zenith Chronicler. Draw card. Draw card. Uh, yeah, Urgolum's eye down. I guess. I would then like to crack my Wooded Foothills, paying one life. And with that trigger, Titania is going to make me another 5-3. Off of this Wooded Foothills, we are finding a snow-covered forest. From there, I would like to tap 5 to cast Corvold, Fey Cursed King. Corvold, ETB trigger. I'm going to sacrifice a forest, mm -hmm. uh, which will trigger Titania, making me another 5-3 elemental. Mm -hmm. And a treasure. And I'm going to get a counter on Corvold and draw a card. Oh, right, yeah. No, that treasure. one. Draw a card, <laughs> not treasures. Right. I will then go to combat, and yeah, let's swing at Aaron for 15. Smart. Sure. Uh, yeah, take 15. 25? 25. Second main phase. Uh, I have not actually played a land this turn, so I'm going to play my land or waste and pass. Alrighty. Uh, I will untap. I will Anvil of Bull Garden. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good one. Actually, eight. Yeah, we're never casting this thing. Discard this Ulamog, the <laughs> infinite gyre. Uh -huh. Trigger. Uh, I have resolved my Ulamog shuffle trigger, and I would like to move to my main phase one. 
Bonder's Enclave as my land for turn. I would you like that card? Yeah, you would. Uh, mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Mystic Forge. Ooh. That card's good. Yeah, it's pretty good in this deck. So uh, I may look at the top card of my library anytime. I may cast the top card of my library if it's an artifact card or a colorless non-land card. And then I can tap to pay a life, exile the top card of my library. Uh, so I'm going to look. I shouldn't have played this Bonders Enclave. Yep, I'm a dumb dummy. <laughs> can I play lands? It can't play lands anyway. I understand. Yeah. I didn't understand, <laughs> but now I do. Uh, tap, pay a life, 31... Exile this blasted landscape. Pay two for a Hedron Crawler. Oh, uh -huh. that's a nice one. Yeah. Uh, pay one for an Expedition Map. Pay two. Crack Expedition Map. Sure. Off this Expedition Map, I'm going to put Labyrinth of Scophos into my hand. What's that for? What do you need that for? Uh, no reason, just the 40 approximately power across the table for me. <laughs> and then I'm going to take a look. Ooh, I could have cast that one if I had eight mana. Pass the turn. Okay, everybody write that down. <laughs> eight, eight mana, mana sorcery. Are you sure you don't As want to Ulamox it? Crusher. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I can't. I will draw two off the anvil. I'm going to Ulamox Crusher on top Oh, that. that's interesting. I'm going to discard Halo Fountain. Mm -hmm. uh, I will play a Forbidden Orchard as my land for turn. Okay, we got a plan at least. I'm going to tap four. Uh, Elliot, you can have a spirit. Oh, yay. I'm going to cast Palace Jailer. Oh, okay. Uh, I would like to jail Champion of Lamhole. Sure. Don't mind that. Don't uh, mind that one bit. I would also like to become the Monarch. You may. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we need a song. This thing is sharp. <laughs> it is. It's very pointy. Suddenly. My board sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Get uh, Kaylee, am I right? My yeah, like, true. Rough. Then I'm going to pass the turn and draw for the Monarch. Didn't think I was so involved. Like, I got invested into one creature. Thanks. What, what these old rags? <laughs> Stop. Uh, draw, draw for Anvil. I'm going to discard Dusk Shell Crawler. Ooh, that's a good card. It's it's redundant nice with Kadama, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did not know Kadama gave trouble. I thought it literally <laughs> only had the other ability. Mm. Play a Cinder Glade. I'm going to plus my Minsk to target my Boo. Take up this one six, right? Okay, good. Six. Seven power for my Great Henge. Ooh, okay. oh, oh, nice one. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, we did this this way. So I would then draw a card. One, two, three, four for my Renata Call to the Hunt. ETB, it'll get a counter. It's also gonna right. gain haste. And I draw from the Great Henge. So it's gonna gain haste until end of turn. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Cast Rampant Rejuvenator. Oh God. What? What's right? That uh, it enters the battlefield with two plus plus one counters. When it dies, switch my for X basic lands for X is its power. Hmm. Put them in the battlefield. Well, that's a cool card. Uh, so it's going to play a two, get another one from here, and it's going to get in haste. Uh, and another one from here. So it's going to get four. Draw a card. Ooh. Ooh. Also has haste. Also has haste. Also has haste. Uh -huh. yeah, me, me, me. My board sucks now. Me, me, me. What do you got to block over there? <laughs> I've got a one, one, and a zero, one, pal. Good. Thanks. Great. <laughs> Good thing I'm not my creatures of trample. This new ability I found out. <laughs> <laughs> this just in. <laughs> uh, move the combat. Uh -huh. Convincing myself. Maybe I'll just keep it as a blogger. Um, setting in Elliot here. Uh, oh, that's not true. Setting in a gym. I forgot he's the monarch. <laughs> oh. Mm, he is the monarch. Gym. Uh, four, four, and uh, larger. So, so nine. So nine. They have trample. Jesus. I will double block the Kodama with Palace mm -hmm. Jailer and Xenon. Zenith Chronicler. Sure. Uh, and take 13. Yes. This is going to trample one over. Ah. Yeah. Only have three yes, now. right. So 14. 14? 14. Okay, so yeah. I'll take 14. You'll get your champion back, and you yeah. will get the monarch as well. Yeah, and I trigger Kadama three times. Uh, find three lines. Uh, I will find a mountain and a pair of forests. Uh, my Kadama will die. I get my champion back, who will trigger the Great Henge. Oh. Uh, so we will get a ca two counters because of also Renata. And draw a card. Jeez. 
Neato. Uh, end my turn. Uh, draw a card for being draw the one. Draw for wearing the crown. Let's well, saying the head is heavy that wears the crown or something. No, it's uh-huh. uh, you uh, live the longest as king. <laughs> I think it's. Uh, I don't think Kings I've ever never heard. die. <laughs> yeah, uh, it doesn't matter whether you win by an inch or a mile. The only thing that matters is family. Are we fast and the furious now? I don't know what we are. <laughs> we're... I'm untapping. Yeah, great. I'm gonna draw for turn and then draw for Bogarden. Yep. Uh, we are then discarding Vile Smasher. Let's turn. start with casting Abrupt Decay on the Champion of Landhold. Oh, yeah, Smart. Never mind. It's just that could be <sighs> stupid chronicler. Idiot. He was so young. I know. Oh no! Who killed that? I was so stupid. Walked <laughs> with it. It's gone now. Yeah, Jim. Mm-hmm. Gone forever. Way to go. <laughs> Way to go, Jim. I am then going to combat, yeah. and I would like to attack with all of my things. Good. Sure. I have two attack triggers. Soul of Windgrace is going to grab Wooded Foothills in tapped, and then Corvold is going to sacrifice this Wooded Foothills, uh, gaining me a counter, a 5-3, and draw a card. Wow. Sure. Hey, someone better do something about this, right? Something crazy going on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Darn uh, shame. This is 31 damage coming sure. your way. Uh, obscuring Haze. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Imagine though. Constimus. <laughs> I think I have Obscuring Haze in my deck too. Wow. For this exact moment. Block uh, Titania. Reasonable. Take mm-hmm. 26 damage. Oh, that's one more than he has. I uh, have no effects. I have no effects. <sighs> Titania yeah, like, dies. Titania becomes the monarch. I become the monarch. Give me the crown. Well, may well, the queen reign. Long may she reign. Long may she reign. Me. Well, you know what they say, Kaylee? Heavy is the head that wears the... Intro- Something like that. I don't yeah. know. Into a mile. Family. <laughs> I'm then going to second main phase. Uh-huh. Tap three to Jund Charm. Deal two damage to each creature. Oh, okay. Uh, trigger Flump. Elliot and I'll draw a card. Whatever Flump is dealt damage. Interesting. Okay. 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 My Hedron Crawler and my uh, generous spirit that Jim give me uh, die. I am then going to sadly let Flump let you draw more cards. Oh, yeah. Uh, by Stomp targeting Flump. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. From Bone Crusher. We're going to draw another card. Great. I take a damage to Mana Confluence. Flump down. Flump down. I will then pass the turn from there, drawing for Monarchy. What are we going to do about this, Elliot? Wouldn't that be great to know? Hey, five pal. trees. <laughs> Untap. Come on. She keeps <laughs> killing my stupid mana creatures or Urgolem's eyes, so I can't cast any of my dumb ten drops. <laughs> draw for turn. <laughs> draw for Anvil of Bogarden. Oh. You should have fewer ten drops. No, I should have more Grim Monoliths. <laughs> Discard this Breaker of Armies. Ooh. He couldn't keep them in his sleeveys. Yeah. He's going to leave your leggings alone, though. Play this Labyrinth of Scophos. Oh, I remember that card. Oh, you would. Oh, what's that for? Ah. <laughs> Tap this Worn Power Stone. Play a Grim Monolith. Tap this Grim Monolith for three colorless. Uh, play this Manifold Key. Two colorless floating. Uh, use a colorless to tap this Manifold Key. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, to untap this Grim Monolith. Uh huh. One. Two, three, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. This thing. Nine. Ten. Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger. Ooh, okay. Cast trigger. Cast trigger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, smart. <laughs> Reasonable. Smart. Smart and good. Exile, right? Exile. Yeah, okay. Smart and good. But Corvold. It maybe should have been one of the tokens because wow. she can just have to blur this out. My gen cards. Yeah, you've spoiled the puzzle. Oh, right? maybe. I'll have to blur it. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the top card of my library. Spoilers ahead. <laughs> Tough. Equip. Uh oh. I I'm not attacking anybody. You done? Yeah. Uh, draw two off anvil. Why? I'm gonna discard reliquary tower. Okay, I'm gonna play an island. I'm going to cast uh, the Council of War. Then I'm going to... Let's give Elliot another spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Father. <laughs> and I'm going to cast Land Tax. That's my second spell this turn, so I'm going to make a Knight. And uh, I think that's going to be it for me. I'll pass. Okay. I will untap. Still has 20 power. 
Yeah, still doesn't feel great. Yeah. But I have four elementals. It's lovely. It feels great over here. Drawing for turn. Anvil. And then drawing for Anvil. I'll draw off Council of Four. Yep. Council of Four six. Oh no. <laughs> I'm going to discard Bloodstained Mire. If you're so, going to kill something, in theory, I it would can destroy be the... artifacts. Oh, just artifacts. Swift foot boots. Swift foot boots and the anvil of Bogarden are my intentional targets. Tower worker. Yeah, tough. <laughs> I'm going to tap four mana to cast fiery confluence. Ooh. Oh. Uh, I may choose three modes or choose three modes. I may choose the same mode more than one. I'm going to choose destroy target artifact three times. Cool. I would like to destroy the anvil, uh, swift foot boots, and the grim monolith. Tough. My manifold key is useless. <laughs> uh -huh. I will then tap three, taking a damage to Mana Confluence to cast Painful Truths with Converge on three. Trigger. Yes. Make a, a second knight. knight. I am taking uh, so you're taking one off of Confluence and then you're going to take three? And then I'm three. taking three off of Painful Truths. 24? Correct. To draw three cards. We will then play a Command Tower as our land for turn. And going to combat, let's attack Elliot for 20. They don't have trample currently? No text, just five threes. I will block one with my 10-10 and one with uh, the spirit. All right. So take I will take 10, ten down to I 21. And yeah, one. Uh, Second main phase, dice. I'm going to tap Command Tower to cast Gilded Goose, which will make me a food token on mm. entering. Okay. Delicious. And I will move to end step, draw for monarchy. Pass the turn. Oh, she's still the monarch. I am still the monarch. <laughs> right. Untap. Okay. I am still wielding the crown. Wielding. Mm. It's pointy. Uh, he could wield the crown. <laughs> I draw for my turn. There is no longer an anvil in play. Is correct. correct? Correct. Okay. I'm going to look at the top card of my library. As is your right. It's a good thing we did that. I'm going to tap three. I'm going to cast Basalt Monolith. Hey. Uh, that's a pretty good one. I'm going to look at the top card of my library. It's a land. <laughs> Tough. I think I did this math correctly. I'm going to tap Basalt Monolith for three. Use the Manifold key to untap the Basalt Monolith and tap it again. So I have five colorless mana. Going down to one colorless mana, I will play Hedron Archive. Second spell, I'll make a knight. Yep. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cast Kozilek the Great Distortion. Cast trigger. Uh, when I cast it, I have fewer than seven cards in my hand. I have one, so I would like to draw six cards. Go ahead. Trigger cancel. <laughs> <laughs> so you draw six. I'll I draw, draw six. One. Yeah. It's your spell. Then. I'm going to look at the top card of my library. Oh. I will play this Nephalia Academy. Uh, so if a spell or ability an opponent controls causes me to discard a card, I may reveal that card and put it on top of my library instead. Mm. Uh, and then it taps out a colorless. I could make one of you exile mill 20, right? Like it's, yeah. it's pretty good. But then we just jump block and then life goes on. Yeah. So... I will just pass the turn. Okay. I'm on defense. Cow on tap. I am a coward. <laughs> uh, trigger land tax in my upkeep. Mm -hmm. Off the land tax, I'm going to get this island, this plains, and this other plains. You may. Then I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play this island as my land for turn. That's uh, Kaladesh Island 254. It's my favorite island B. in the game. 254B. Sorry. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to tap three and uh, I guess I'll give me, me, please, please. Um, I'm still walking here. I'm gonna give Kaylee the token. Yay! I'm gonna Time's represent it changed. with this beautiful spike token. Oh, Good. this other spike. So I'm spending this three on a decanter, decanter of endless water. So I'm back to having no hand size. Nice. After my anvil of a garden was cut down in its prime of life. <laughs> Is that what an anvil does? I don't think so. But it's fine. each player skips their discard, discard stuff. Place. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorted. What I, I believe it is eroded to just say no max yeah, size. It's just complicated mm -hmm, because mm -hmm, it's, mm -hmm. it's a good boomer text. <laughs> yep. Uh, then I'm gonna tap. We'll tap three to cast Inspiring Leader. This says Commander creatures I own have creature tokens you control get plus two plus two. Oh, 
Uh -huh. uh, that's my second spell this turn, so I'm going to make a fourth knight. And then I'm going to move to combat. Yep. And I will swing. Uh, what do you got over here? I have an 0 2 and a 1 1. Smart. Okay, uh, I'm going to attack you with four 4 4s. Three 4 4s. One three of them has some Three 4 4s. Four I will take 12, go to 12. Let me just represent my board state accurately here. Yeah, please. Well, they have vigilance. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Everything sucks. And I sadly have to relinquish the monarchy. <gasps> nice. Good. Jim Good. becomes in charge once again. Cool. Uh, then I'm going to move to my end step. I'm going to draw for the Monarch, and that triggers the Council of Four, so I'll draw again. Oh no! I will untap. It's good deck building. Huh. Draw for turn. I would like to go to combat. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to declare three <clears throat> five threes at Jim. Nothing suspicious going on. Nothing I'm suspicious. Sure. Yeah, I'll block all three of them. Okay, they will train. Okay, cool. 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 Nothing suspicious. I just, I'm okay with this. I'm, I'm just chilling, you know, I got a 10 10 and a 12 12. Nobody paying attention to the Eldrazi in the bed I I cannot deal with the Eldrazi, and I wanted to draw cards. <laughs> and the monarchy fair. presents a way for me to draw cards. Fair, fair. Mm -hmm. We are going to play a snow covered forest, and then we will tap three mana to cast our Bone Crusher Giant out of the adventure zone. <gasps> it was okay. on an adventure! It was on an adventure because it stomped on a floomph. <laughs> this, this is fake. <laughs> These are fake words. Uh, I'm then going to tap five to cast a Riveteer's Confluence. Trigger. Triggering the Council of Four. Riveteer's Confluence. Uh, I can choose three. I may choose the same mode more than once. Draw a card, lose a life. Deal one damage to each creature and Planeswalker I don't control. Or put a land card from my hand or graveyard on the battlefield tapped. I'm going to choose to draw three, lose three. Oh. Trigger the Council of Four. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so that card triggers way too often. It's a very expensive painful truth. You go to nine. It is a flexible painful truth, and I do go to nine. Okay. The council four like, triggers a lot. It triggers a lot. It has triggered twice a turn since I cast it. <laughs> From there, I am sadly going to just pass the turn. Okay, I'm gonna look at the top card in my library. Uh, I don't think I need a pristine talisman right now, so I'm going to tap this Mystic Forge. Go to 20, I think. Yes. Uh, to exile this pristine talisman. Look at the top card of my library. Yes. Untap. <laughs> uh, Boy's excited. I'm very excited, yeah. I, you know, I came into this game with one goal. So this is my first game uh, with this new deck. Uh, I'm going to draw a card for my turn. My goal uh, was to make a certain token. Oh no. <laughs> is it the Desolation Twin? It is Desolation <laughs> Twin. Perfect. Sure. Love that. Uh, I guess I'm going to play Sanctum of Eternity for my land for turn. Uh, tap this prismatic uh, lens to tap the manifold key to untap the basalt monolith. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure. Which of these ten drops? <laughs> you know. One of them makes 20 power. <laughs> I'm crazy. going we'll draw to... Uh, Make an Eldrazi token. Sure. Yay. That's 20 power. Mm -hmm. That is 20 power. Next, I'm going to head on over to the step where I look at stuff card in my library. <laughs> uh, combat. Yeah. Jim's at 17. Yeah. Kaylee's at 9. Yes. You should just kill Kaylee. Please don't. Don't, don't get in my ear like that, devil whisperer. <laughs> I, you need me to help kill Jim. <laughs> You need me you, to help if we, Everybody stop talking to me, how about, huh? If we kill Jim, you just kill me with any one of these four bodies. Oh, I know. I'm aware of the situation. Okay. I'll cast Secret Rendezvous and give you a couple cards. <gasps> Tack <Tacky. laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I want to be the Monarch. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm, I'm going to head on over to combat. I'm going to attack Jim with my Kozilek and my Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger. Trigger Ulamog. Trigger, please. Exile the top 20 cards of your library. Okay, what do we got here? We've got an island, Master of Ceremonies, Plains, Circle of Loyalty. That's a good hit. That is a good one. Afara, Submerge, Ooh. Island, Plains, Well of Ideas, Gaia Reach, Walking Atlas, Strixhaven Stadium. That's another good that's hit. Good hit. Iganjo, Azorius Signet, Island, Commander Sphere, Academy Ruins, Quain, Leyline, and a Plains. Okay. 
Uh, and then my 12-12 has menace, and there's a 10-10 attacking you. Sure. What would you like to do? Um, I'll double block the 12-12 mm -hmm. and take 10. Sounds good. Go to 7. Jim goes to 7. I would like to be the Monarch. That is... No. Hmm? You do not get it by virtue of just saying it so incorrectly. Can't hear you over my crown. <laughs> Through my crown? Whatever. Um, and then I'm I'm just passing the turn I th here, I think. You know? Wow. So, you yeah. only drew one card and only cast one spell. Well, I am uh, drawing a second for the Monarch here. Right. Unfortunately. That's why. Oh, no. no. It was, yeah. It yeah. was uh, Benevolent. Benevolent King. Uh, I'll end up. I'm going to look at the top card of my library. Hey, everyone's gotten to be the monarch this game. Draw card. That's true. Even my corpse. Even, your, even the corpse of Aaron Beckett. <laughs> Kaylee, it's what are we going to do about Elliot? Elliot? Well, everybody got That's a very good question. What are we doing about Elliot? I have a bunch of bad cards. Love it. Play a level. Like, I have standard all stars in my hand that don't really scale the multiplayer that I played in standard okay, Kaylee, years ago. I got a plan for okay. us. Okay. What do we got? I'm going to play a planes. I'll tap four and cast Benevolent Offering. Okay. Okay. What's that do? Uh, choose to choose an opponent. You and that player each create three one one white spirit creature tokens of flying. Then choose an opponent. You gain two life for each creature you control, and that player gains two life for each creature they control. This sounds great. I would like to choose Kaylee for both. Yay! Uh, so we will each make three. three I'm going to make spirits. three haunters. I'm lucky. And gain. Two, two life times the number of creatures we control? Correct. So 12 life for me. Uh, eight life for you? Yep. You know, it's anybody's game over here, you know? Yeah. It's not mine. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Tough. I'm going to tap four, including two blue, and cast Junk Blinder. Ooh. Uh, this has affinity for tokens, so it costs me four because I have three tokens. Uh, whenever a token enters the battlefield under my control, tap target a non-land permanent and opponent controls, it doesn't untap during its controller's untap state. Okay. Uh, that triggers the Council of Four, and I'll make a Knight, but unfortunately it's not in play when the Knight for comes the knight. in. For the Knight, okay, good for me. A little me. sad, but it's fine. Then, I've only got one mana left. I'm just gonna pass the turn. End step. I'm gonna take a damage to mana confluence to make a food token. 20? Uh, 20. I'm at 20. And then go to untap. Sort of. Draw for turn. Mm -hmm. So now, Kately, if you cast two spells on your turn, I can tap down one of Elliot's Eldrazi. Yeah. And it won't untap. I'm going to start by tapping three to cast a Tireless Tracker, followed uh, by... Oh, oh, I have a response. You have a response? Do you have yeah. a three? I'm going to discard body? this Palladium Mirror. Ooh. To counter my Tireless Tracker? Yes. But wow. that's so rude! I that? definitely didn't just remember that my Cosmic has this ability right now. That I wanted ridiculous. to make clues to draw cards. Mm -hmm. mm. That's too bad. That is so rude of you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play this Reflecting Pool as my land for a turn. You may. I'm then going to tap four to cast Vraska, Golgari Queen. This is my second spell this turn. Yeah, trigger make a knight. I also just realized that I tapped Forbidden Orchard uh, last turn. I'm going to give Kaylee the spirit off of it. Sure. Perfect. I have two spirits. Two spirits. I would then like to minus three Vraska to destroy Target online permanent with mana value three or less. Would you like uh, to at zero? You get the junk winder yeah. first, right? Oh yeah, because yes. uh, token is cast. I will tap down Ulamog. Okay, I have a response. I'm going to cast Not of This World to counter target ability that targets a permanent <laughs> I control for zero because it targets a creature with power seven or greater. Sure, yeah. I should now also you counter <laughs> tap down your tower worker. <laughs> oh, you're countering the. <laughs> Junk Winder Junk trigger. Winder trigger. Yes. So, okay. Yes. Activate Vraska. Dead. The Eldrazi. Unfortunately, dead Eldrazi token. You got to do it though. You did. I did got to do it, but on its first birthday. <laughs> on its first birthday. <laughs> I will then just pass the turn. Uh, end of your turn. I will activate Bonders Enclave. Uh, draw a card. Activate this ability only if I control a creature with power four or greater. Do you? I do. Uh, so I'll draw a card, and then I'm going to look at the top card of my library. <laughs> uh, Question. Yep. Council for only cares about turn player, correct? Yep. Okay, so I can't cast two spells on Elliot's turn to correct. give you another knight. Okay. Yeah, correct. Untap. Draw for turn. Oh, look at the top card of my library! 
Uh, I'm going to play Tokasia's Dig Site. Tokasia. 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 Tokasia's Dig Site here. She's dead. Respect her. Will not. <laughs> Uh, then I'm going to tap this prismatic lens to tap this manifold key to untap the basalt monolith. Tap it for three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cityscape leveler. <laughs> Notably cannot level cities. Yes. Uh, when I cast this spell and whenever it attacks, destroy up to one target non-land permanent. Its controller creates a tapped power stone token. Is that uh, your second spell this turn or first? Uh, that is my first. First. Uh, Target Junkwinder. Sure. You may have a power stone. Oh, he walked right into my trap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at the top card. I've got a six card combo in this deck and all I needed was a power stone. <laughs> metal work. <laughs> Stop. Or uh, metal craft. <laughs> uh, don't think I need to cast this thing, so I'm going to pay a life to exile it. 19. Go to 19. It is a Dreamstone Hedron. <laughs> You don't want more mana? Uh, I don't want to pay six for three more mana, no. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. That's reasonable. Uh, tap Arcane Lighthouse and Emergence Zone for Liquimetal Torque. Maybe That training. is your second spell this turn. It is. Make a knight. You may make a knight. Uh, look at the top card. <laughs> mana Crypt. <laughs> look at the top card. Dang. What is this, Storm? Yeah, it is now. Go to combat. Mm-hmm. I think my best bet is Jim with this again, because I already made you exile 20. Sure. <laughs> and Kaylee with both of these. That is my attacks. Okay, trigger. We had a thought vessel, a fell the mighty, that would have come in handy. <sighs> Wizard class, arcane denial, standstill. <laughs> Oblation, that also would have come in handy. Mm -hmm. Monologue Tax, Frantic Search, Talisman of Progress, Mikakoro, Loran, Triska Decophile, Hour of Reckoning, Midnight Clock, <laughs> Benny Brax, and Intellectual Offering. I love a good oh. Benny Brax. Yeah. Uh, nice. And then, yeah, 10 at you, 22 at you. One of them has Menachi. None of them has Trample or anything. Uh, it's indestructible? Yes. I will block with a Knight. I will double block Kozlek, because I have to, mm -hmm. and then I will single chump block the Desolation Twin. Sounds good. Second main phase! <laughs> uh, yeah, second main phase. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I will cast Artisan of Kozilek. Ooh. Uh, and when I cast Artisan of Kozilek, I may return target creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield which will be this Breaker of Armies. Uh, the Artisan of Kozilek has Annihilator 2 and is a 10-9, and the Breaker of Armies says all creatures able to block Breaker of Armies do so, and is a 10-8. Uh -huh. Elliot, if you didn't do exactly that, I could have done something that would let Jim kill you. Fair enough. I will pass the turn. Because okay. Jim has 18 power of creatures right now. <laughs> uh, draw for Monarch. Oh, yes, end of my turn. You are the Monarch. And that'll trigger monarch. cancel, so I'll draw a card. Uh, untap. This power stone token's gonna come in handy. Yeah, I'm. I hope it does. I'm not gonna land tax because I need the cards in my library. Um, yeah. <laughs> draw card. I'm gonna pay six to cast Obelisk of Erd. <gasps> uh huh. Um, I'm gonna choose spirits. Yeah. It makes them five fives, right? Yep. Uh huh. Oh, sorry, I'm going to tap differently for that. I'm going to tap like that. Oh, the sliding bolt could help. <laughs> well, I'm going to play a land for my turn. It's going to be a terrain generator. A little late. A little late in the game for generating some terrain. Yeah. Then I'm going to tap two. And cast a Mindstone trigger council. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to move to combat. I am going to attack Elliot in the air for 15. Uh, unfortunately, somehow none of these giant spaghetti monsters have uh, flying or reach. Uh, so I guess I'm taking 15 to the mouth okay. and going down to four. four. You are the monarch once again, Ooh, sir. Oh, I love it. Second main. I'm going to tap one, two, three, four to cast Smothering Tithe. Sure. Oh. 
I think the Power, power Stone, stone can't, can't, use the power stone stone. can't be used to cast yeah. another entire non-artifact spells. You so you can use it stone. to cast the Mind Stone, though. So sure. yeah. everybody be cool. We'll call it a chop off. The end result is fine. <laughs> yes. Yep. Uh, okay. And then that's it for me. In my end step, I'll draw a card, and then that'll trigger the Council of Four. I'll draw another card. Let's go to my untaps. And I will draw for turn. I am not paying for smothering. I'll make a treasure. I'm going to float a green. And then I'm going to plus two Vraska, sacrificing a permanent to gain a life and draw a card. Okay. Ooh, 21. 21. Up to 21. Uh, trigger, trigger, cancel, draw a card. Yeah. It's pay two. Oh, yeah. Do you pay two for drawing? I will not pay two for oh, some other tithe. Treasure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Holy moly. I will then go to combat. I'm going to attack one spirit at Elliot and one spirit at Jim. Should have kept this labyrinth of Scophos up. <laughs> Those spirits don't have flying. They, they do, do have flying. They are the ones oh, right. from... They're oh, right. They're Forbidden Orchard. You're Forbidden Orchard. Yeah, you they're missed. the... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we give you the spirit. I have the spirit. Yeah. Great. Uh, but those ones do have These flying. These ones do have flying from the offering. Uh, offering. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll take one. I will take one. I become the monarch. You do become the monarch. Bum, 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 bum. Second main phase. I'm then going to... Oh, I forgot about my floating green mana. Oh, well, it's gone forever. Uh, tap a red to lightning bolt to Elliot. <laughs> yeah. For um, that three damage. Um, unfortunately, this three and this seven and this other seven don't do it for me. So Yay! I will die. Yay! All of them is close. No, I'm okay, just passing the turn. Okay, I'm gonna spend my two treasures to flash in Archivist of Ogma. What's oh. that doing? Oh. Uh, it's a two-two with flash, and whenever an opponent searches their library, I gain a life and draw a card. Okay. Uh, I will then untap. Oh, you uh, draw for Monarch. Oh, I do draw for Monarch yeah, on the but I already drew off the Council of Four this turn. Yeah. Yes. So just for Monarch. Well, oh, hey, pal. How's it going? Been hanging out here for a while. Yeah, uh, you know. It's I'll keep. Tough. I'm not going to land tax. I'll draw a card. Pay three. Cast Swindler's Scheme. You keep naming these cards, and uh, I don't know what they do. Whenever <laughs> an opponent casts a spell from their hand, I can reveal the top card of my library. If it shares a card type with the spell, counter it, and that opponent may cast the revealed card without paying its mana cost. I would like to respond to you casting that spell. Sure. I would like to Nature's Claim Your Obelisk Avert. Oh. Actually, she, no. She lives. Nature's Claim the Inspiring Leader. Sure. Because it's pumping all of your tokens. Okay. Can sure. you gain four life? I will gain four. Uh, 19. 19? 19. Right. Uh, Swindler Scheme Resolve? Uh, thinking about it... I, yeah. With the scheme still in the stack, I am going to tap three and pay six life to Fire Covenant your three knight tokens, dealing two, two, and two damage. Okay. You go so to 15. That will trigger Council of Four and I'll make a knight. So yes. three will die and I'll have one left at the end. The right. one that cannot attack this turn. Correct. Notably. Yes. Good for you. Yes. Uh, then I'm going to play an island. As my land for turn. And I'm gonna cast Counterbalance. Okay. <laughs> That's your second spell. That so is my second get, spell. So you I'm get another, a, knight. another knight. No, because Jim, it only during you, their turn. So you wouldn't have made a knight off of me casting oh, two right. spells. So you should only right. have one knight. Yes, I should only have one knight. That's okay. correct. Uh, then I'm going to tap one, two, three, four. To cast Vidalcan Orrery. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to move to combat. Yep. And swing at you in the air for... Nine. Nine. I will take nine and go to six. For the six, I will become the monarch. <laughs> <laughs> Passing the crown back. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, then I'm going to pass the turn. Draw a card for monarch, draw a card for council of four. Yep. Oh my goodness. I will, still in the in your end step, I'm going to pay four to crack both my food to gain six life. Uh, go to 12. <laughs> I pay a lot of life into things, but I also have a few ways to gain some life back, and it's pretty okay. Uh, still in my oh. end step. Still in your end step. Uh, I'm going to flash in Deep Gnome Terramancer. Which does... It has flashed the 2-2, and whenever one or more lands enter the battlefield under an opponent's control without being played, I can search my library for our planes, put it on the battlefield, tap, then shuffle, do it only once each turn. Okay, that's fine. I don't think I am having lands enter without being played at this point. 
unless I play my commander, which is probably not happening. Untaps. Draw for turn. Uh, smothering Tithe. <laughs> yes. Would you like to pay two? I will pay the two. Let's tap these to pay the two. Okay. Responsible. Main phase. I would like to plus two Vraska, sacrificing the Cull Spirit to gain gain one life and draw a card. Uh, trigger Council of Four, draw a card. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you paying two for... Um, I uh, will pay two for Smothering Tithe. Okay. I will then go to combat, mm -hmm. and I will attack you with one spirit. Uh, one flying spirit. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, 18. Got 18. I get the monarchy back. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> and notably still have a spirit to block with. And second main phase, we will tap five to cast Wasitora, Nekuru Queen. Trigger, trigger. We're going to trigger Swindler's Scheme first. Uh, okay. Swindler's Swindler Scheme will resolve first. So I, I flip the top card of my library? I flip the top card of my library. Yes. Whenever an opponent yeah. casts a spell, it's, so, it's counterbalanced, yes. kind of. Okay. If it matches a type. So then if it's a cast creature, it or I cast it? You cast it. You cast it. I cast from yeah. your deck. Yes. I hate this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if this is a creature, yeah. then you can cast this instead. Yeah. Uh, it is not, not a, creature. a creature. So now we go counterbalance and it also value doesn't five. do anything. So, so we're good. Yeah. So it will resolve. Okay. I will then play this Cinder Glade as my land for turn and pass. Okay. Uh, draw, uh, from uh, draw from Monarch. Draw from Monarchy on the end step. Four. Nope. You already drew for... Did I already draw? Yes, because yes. I Vraska. Ah, right. Vraska. Right. You're right. It's all on tap. I will draw a mystery card. <laughs> Big mystery. I didn't read it, so I don't actually know what it does. <laughs> I will play a Plains as my land for turn. I'm going to tap five to cast Blade Griff Prototype. A what? Uh, it's a 3-2 flyer, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, destroy target non-land permanent of that player's choice that one of my opponents controls. OK. Just you. But it <laughs> doesn't have haste, so it's fine. It does yeah, not have haste. Currently not haste. accurate. Then I will move to combat. Yep. I will swing for nine in the air and four on the ground. I would like to block a spirit with Wasi Tora because she is a 5-4. Okay. And what are the bodies there on the two ground? Two twos. Two twos. I will block one of them with a Bone Crusher Giant, which is a 4-3. Uh, we'll block the Archivist. Okay. Sure. So, so I will Archivist take down. Eight damage. And a spirit down. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I take, eight. Yeah. I take eight down to five. Down to five. Then I'm going to tap oh, three. Hang on. Oh. 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 Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Uh, then I'm going to tap three and cast Karmic Justice. Uh, okay. That's my second spell, so I'll make a knight. And then I will move to my end step. I'll draw a card for Monarch, draw a card for Council. Yep. Oy, I oy, will oy. untap. Draw for turn, pay for Smothering Tithe. Okay. I would like to plus two Vraska. Going to seven loyalty. Sacrificing this Tainted Wood to gain a life and draw a card. Trigger council. Yep. You're going six. to six. I go to six. Are you paying for Smothering Tithe? I will pay for Smothering Tithe. And I keep drawing lands. Tough. Bad for me. I would like to play Cabal Pit as my land for turn. Well, the Blade Griff prototype is a flyer. Yep. So I can't take the monarchy back anymore. Correct. I, but I want it. Mm, That's tough. deeply unfortunate. Uh, I am simply going to pass the turn. In your end step. Yep. Uh, I'm going to flash in a soul ring. Okay. I'm going to flash in a curse of verbosity. <laughs> Whenever enchanted player is attacked, you draw a card. Each opponent attacking that player does. Oh, I see. I get nothing. Correct. Okay. Uh, and then I'd like to move to my turn. Yep. On tap. I will draw a card. I'll play a Plains as my land for turn, and I'm going to move to combat. Yes. I would like to swing at you with two spirits, two knights, my Deep Gnome Terramancer, and my Blade Griff prototype. Okay. Before blockers, mm -hmm. I'm going to pay a black and sacrifice Cabal Pit to give Blade Griff prototype minus two, minus two until end of turn. Minus two, minus two. Because I have threshold. <laughs> I, I would assume. Interesting. That's fine. Play Griff down. I will then proceed to blockers. Okay. 
Wasi Tora will block a spirit. One of my spirits will block a spirit. Mm -hmm. Three ground attackers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, they are all two twos. They are all two twos. I will block the Deep Gnome Terramancer with Bone Crusher Giant. Okay. Uh, before damage. Yep. I'm going to cast your temples under attack and give my creatures indestructible until next turn. Oh. Okay. Uh, before damage as well. I'm going to tap two, make a food token, and then tap two and sacrifice that food token to gain three life. Sure. Nine. So I'm up to nine. nine. Then damage. Then move to damage. You um, lose a spirit. I lose one spirit and I take four. Correct. From the two knights. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Down to five. five. Down to five. Sorry, these don't have vigilance, so this is tapped. Yeah, just that and, one. Yeah. And then the blade griff died, so. Did you draw for this? Uh, no, I didn't draw. I and then draw. council, you'll draw, draw that. Treasure draw council, council. I'll draw here. Then I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. I will untap, draw for turn, and I don't care to pay for Smothering Tithe. You have enough mana. That's okay. okay. I will make a treasure. I'm going to tap six, and I'm going to cast my commander. Trigger, trigger. Oh, gosh. Uh, Triggers. Flip. Oh, right. We're going to uh, resolve Swindler Scheme first. Sure. Creature. It is a creature. What so, is it? Uh, if you want an Eon Frolicker, you can... <laughs> so this gets countered regardless, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. If you want an Eon Frolicker, you can give me an extra turn. I definitely do not want to do that. Okay. So it is successfully countered. So that's going to get countered. It's going to go back to the command zone. I'm then going to plus two Vraska and sacrifice Llanowar Wastes to gain a life and draw a card. Back to six. Back Trigger. to six. Council four. Go card. Yep. Play my land for turn. And move to end step, discard to hand size, pit, or throwing away in, a woodland cemetery. In your end step. In my end step before I discard them. Yeah, before you discard. Yep. Oh, yeah, he's got Vidalcanor right. Never mind. Yep. I'm going to flash in Academy Lore Master. I am going to cast Fateful Absence targeting Wasatora. Destroy it, and its, its controller investigates. I will get a clue. You get a clue, Kaylee. I have a clue. It's oh. right here. Okay. It's pretty. And then I'm going to cast Mangara. Jesus. Yep. Then I'm going to tap three to cast... Is this a storm count? <laughs> yeah, storm count four. <laughs> uh, Smuggler share. And then I think that's going to be it for what I plan on doing at the end of your turn. <laughs> This okay. Is like half your turn. Great. Yeah. Here. Okay. Do, yeah. Do you want some of this? <laughs> you more tables. Yeah, yeah, like to untap. And some of this real estate here. See, these are your white enchantments. Uh, these are your blue enchantments. Yeah, this is the white enchantment district. Uh, okay. So we'll untap. Oh, the obelisk over there. Oh yeah, yeah. Artifact. Okay. Cool. So I will draw a card. Oh, white enchantment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White enchantment. <laughs> uh, you get to do that if you'd like. Oh, uh, uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh, I'm gonna... your end step, I do discard the card. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, true. So I'm playing a Plains as my land for turn. Uh, then I'm going to tap four to cast Spark Double. I'm yeah. Double the Council. Sure. Is that good for you? What is that? <laughs> like, makes, honestly, makes winning the yeah. game might just be decking Jim out at this point. I'm yeah. going to cast Archaeomancer's Map, double trigger at the Council, make two Knights. Yeah. Then I'm going to move to combat yep. and swing at you with all of my creatures. What all do you got? Uh, two four, a two three, uh, two three threes, two. two two twos, and a two two. Ooh, you draw a card. And I draw a card. And then you draw a and card. I draw and you draw a card. <laughs> and I draw another card. Okay. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. <laughs> No, I don't think I have an out here. That is going to be your game. Holy moly. But I'd like to take a moment to uh -huh. point out that if you didn't kill me right now, I was prepared to ultimate Vraska and kill you with a spirit. That's, oh, yeah. That's <laughs> that's that was the out I was playing toward. Yeah, that's was just funny. getting Vraska to nine, getting the emblem that says when a creature hits you, you lose the game. Uh, yeah. I had to settle the wreckage, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still at all. Casual <laughs> settle the wreckage. Yeah. Uh, all right. Wow. That was fun. Wow, it was something for sure. Yeah, that, <laughs> did you have fun, Aaron? 
Aaron died like an hour and a half ago. I had the best seat. In, yeah, real, no. in real minutes. Real minutes, yeah, like I had easily an hour ago. I had the best seat. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, <laughs> well, I, uh, if you guys watched our last uh, casual episode as well, I have two new decks that I played. I played the Party Time one. I was pretty happy with how, how that performed. I was really happy with how this performed too. You got to cast uh, some big old I got movies. to cast some 10-10s, ten that's for sure. A lot of 10 mana creatures, a lot of 8 mana creatures. Um, you know, maybe we got to take a look uh, why nothing has reach or flying or something. But uh, We did know. notice the turn that I died, I should have gained two from the Great, Great Henge. Henge. But I could have died from a myriad, myriad of things. Uh, Kaylee had an untapped wasteland, uh, could have sacrificed, put a counter on Corvold, died. Uh, you could attack me with Assembly Worker Guy, died. Mm -hmm. but, and then that game went forever it. past yeah. that point. <laughs> yeah, I, I almost were? forgot. It was a while ago. How, how many cards, cards left in the library? In my library? This many. I'll go the bottom card. Count it. The it bottom was, card's uh, five. Six? Seven? Six or seven? <laughs> 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 it's Approach of the Second Sun for those of you Approach of the Second Sun. It's six left in my library. That's amazing. That's hilarious. Um, yeah. I think I might have to include some beaters in this deck. Um, just to... Like normally the, the win condition is make a bunch of knights, right? Um, and towards the end there, once you eliminate a player, it doesn't trigger as often and you right. don't get as many knights, right? Like when everybody was alive, I was making knights. You were trying so many the cards, cards that was terrifying. Was long. Yeah. <laughs> but, once, but once Aaron died, then I was getting like one knight, not on my turn. Um, and it, it really slows down. Mm -hmm. So then if I lose a couple of them, it takes a long time to build them back up. Keep, keep, keep right yeah, you yeah. also yeah had to like chump a lot yeah. um, because I was like swinging like 30, uh, you were swinging like 30 power, I was, I was swinging, swinging 20 like to 30, 30 power. power. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of shenanigans that game. So um, tell me, does it feel like a group hug deck? <laughs> no. It kind of did. <laughs> I was like kind of relying on the Anvil of Borg Garden to like get me into yeah. my deck or whatever, right? I was, like at the start there, like, so. I kept a land land arcane signet, I actually didn't have a third land. Oh, um, I think I drew. I think the first card I drew was a land, but yeah, definitely yeah. smoothing out draws is nice. Mm -hmm. Definitely very vulnerable to early pressure though, because it took me five turns to get going. Yeah, um, I thought for sure you were winning this game like really early. Yeah. There. You, you were attacking uh, with so many. Well, uh, I, I thought Aaron was winning the game. Well, okay, champion alive right up hole. until I died. Yeah, it yeah. Was right up point. until I died. It was like a, a rotation, right? It yeah. was like, oh, champion alive hold. Oh. Kaylee. Oh, me? I might have just been dead um, if I hadn't top decked that Palace Jailer just to reset yeah. the champion. Yeah. Because then I could chomp at least like for a turn. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, well, and it introduced the Monarch too, oh, which uh, got passed around oh, my goodness. perhaps more than it ever has been. Yeah. Uh, we passed it a lot in the. Uh, yeah, the, the other game we played. The other during. casual game too, actually. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Almost yeah. a return. Yeah. I wasn't in on that. The so. monarchy it's, is an absolutely fantastic mechanic. You should yeah. play it in more decks. It makes the turn. Yeah, Jerry played a turn three, and it was like almost yeah. every turn it switched turn. Yeah. Switch hands. It plays really well with the Council of Four. Yeah. Um, being able to draw an extra card on your end step if it's the same I didn't card. think about that. Yeah. yeah so the fact good. that this thing says. Well, yeah, just and when a someone player. takes the monarchy from you. And then they draw, and then you yeah. draw. It's like you you just got to keep the monarchy. Yep. It like doesn't it's matter insane. who has it. He's got the monarchy on everybody's turn. Yeah. 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 It's absolutely yeah. ridiculous. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's uh, that's it for this game. But uh, if you want, you can check out our cool sponsors. We'll have links in the comments. Uh, that's uh, Game Genic. They're awesome people. They make awesome products. Um, and yeah, you should definitely check them out. Um, as well, you can join our Discord for as little as one US dollar. You can chat with all of us. Uh, we're all there. Um, you can uh, see these episodes a little early, uh, as well as uncut episodes. If you want to see the full, uh, what, do anybody see the runtime on this one? It must be two hours. <laughs> <laughs> so, there was a lot of banter that will get cut that yeah. will be Patreon exclusive. One you should check it out. 50 minutes. 150. So whatever it says down here, add whatever. Yeah. You yeah. can see all that for just as little as $1. And we also had a game from this filming session that didn't work out. We're going to be releasing the face cams only because we lost the overhead camera footage. Yeah. Um, so you'll be able to see that. And that one won't get released to the public ever. Yeah. So, so yeah, check it out. Yeah. That link will also be down there. Yeah. And then uh, we'll catch you next time. Catch you yeah. next time. I want to give a huge shout out to all of our patron supporters, especially those on the screen right now. The support you give us helps us keep the lights on and keeps us making cool content like this every week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, we'll catch you next time.